Hi everyone and welcome to Madrid, where telecom leaders from around the world are gathering for the very first Ericsson Core Network Summit. Now, this isn't business as usual. This is a space for real conversation and bold, innovative ideas. Over two days, operators, analysts and industry leaders will be diving deep into the future of intelligent, programmable networks. And I'm here to find out what's top of mind for those leading the way. So come with me. We had a theme, unlock agility in your high performer network, and so many great examples of customers and service providers who are doing exactly that, both in terms of what they're doing on the operation side, but we also today saw so much about what's actually happening on the monetization, particularly through the API exposure. And I think that's just really reassuring that we're heading in the right direction. I'm from Elisa uh, and we love uh, cloudification and we aim for that. And I think 5G Core is enabling us that together with automation and faster deployment times. And of course, this all enables better customer experience. What an exciting event. Brilliant discussions. And my interest is really on monetization, monetizing on 5G SA with differentiated connectivity. And to grasp new revenue opportunities, it requires more than technology. It requires innovative partnerships and new business models. And that's what we're discussing here. As part of a research analyst at Omdia, we look a lot at 5G standalone core deployments. And now we're beginning to see this momentum now for more operators deploying 5G core. And one of the main transformations that vendors are helping operators do is what is called the in-service software upgrade to help them uh, manage the life cycle of their network functions in a more efficient manner to help them bring their new network functions and increase uh, time to market. For me, a lot of customer conversations are around transformation to the cloud operating model. Cloud operating model is necessary for a robust network, high performing, and also foundation for the monetization. Cloud operating model also provides a greater customer experience. I think it's very, very interesting to to see, to hear where is the where is the focus of the operators driving 5G core network in the terms of uh, complexity, and uh, at the same time uh, uh, trying to make it more resilient, focusing to the automation and the AI as unavoidable for the further development of uh, 5G, even towards 4, uh, 6G. Yeah, so, so the top of mind for me is really to look at this, this rise of what I call the invisible subscribers. You know, these are subscribers that don't binge watch. They don't go into mindlessly watching Instagram reels. They don't sleep. Uh, they are one of the most unforgiving subscribers because they demand a lot. And these are the AI agents that we're most likely going to see uh, on our networks. Uh, what, what I see is personally is that the next customer of our networks are going to be these invisible subscribers, aka AI agents that are going to demand network resources. And it's so important for us to be ready on the core side, on, on the radio side, to orchestrate this paradigm. I think from a 5G core perspective, you know, whilst we are already work doing automation, we are doing, you know, all the new APIs. I think for me, the fundamental shift is the advent of AI and what we do as we take the journey towards autonomous networks, specifically make use of all the investment we have done on observability and then use all the LLMs and the agentic AI to work out how we are going to, you know, achieve self-config, self-healing networks, and then achieve a greater customer experience for uh, providing sophisticated demand. I think what is really top of mind, when I, when I talk to people here at Bin Security, I mean, the, the threat level is increasing and we need to be prepared. So I think we're doing what we can from Ericsson to uplift our security posture and to help our customers. But obviously customers need to be on this journey and do their part in processes, methodology, and be proactive in how they meet these threats. We are in the middle of this big technology change, uh, going to cloud native in the 5G core. Uh, right now we are going all of us live with this. Uh, we need to have the grip on how to manage this technology in the data centers and so, so that our customer can have a really good network experience. And it's new to us and it's new for everyone in the room. So um, that's very exciting. 